Hi, this is Gary again, and we're actually going to connect to a drive. So here's our software. We are going to go to Drive. Connect to Drive. This is connecting to that drive that we started with the PLC the other day. So now it's communicating and that opened, that is the current drive. And so you can see the parameters that is actually in it. So here's our basic display. Notice our commanded frequency is 60 Hertz. I will change that so that you can see that that number gets changed and so I, it should now say 30 Hertz because it's coming from the potentiometer and notice it has went to 30 Hertz. So we can change that. I'm going to give it a start command and the start command will come from our PLC input that we were using the other day. And so you can see our PLC input takes 30 seconds and it will, should start running and accelerate or use that ramp and ramp up to 30 hertz and I'm not sure the number will look because that is adjustable. Notice it's now going up and it's going to that 28.6. Our software now tells us that the output frequency is 28.6. It's commanded. Notice there's some current. Notice the output voltage is now 109 and the DC bus is 353 volts. But I'm only putting in 120 so we can do magic with the inputs uh, by using our electronics. So here is our basic programming and notice our input is 230, 60 hertz, 3.2 amps, uh, minimum frequency zero, start source, all that stuff. Our XL time is 10 seconds and our D cell time is five. So it sh when you hit the stop button, it should decel in less time. Our terminal block that earlier we talked about, here's how it is all set up. But back to our basic display, you can see our DC bus is there. And now we'll push the stop button and again, that's off of the PLC. Notice the three lights are on there that's telling the drive to run, and that's the way it's programmed. I will shut the stop off, and now notice it decelled to zero, and our one input went out, and our software is now telling us we're still commanded 28 hertz, but our output frequency is zero, no current and no output voltage, but our DC bus will, is still at 354. So during our course, we go through the why that would have a DC bus voltage and at what level it should be. Thanks for watching. Please hit the like and, and 
come back and visit our channel and subscribe. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.